Hello, everybody. Andrea Majewski here with Dental Tutoring. So I've been keeping a little bit of a secret. Um, and before I go further, no, I'm not pregnant. Everybody's been asking me this, and no, I'm not. I'm not okay so it's a different kind of secret okay um, and the reason why I just said that was because a lot of you have been watching me for a while now you know that I got married almost a year ago so yeah people are honestly asking me like when when people sign up for my tutoring courses their emails are um, just making sure you are still tutoring and that you're not having a baby. So no, I'm not having a baby. I don't know where people are getting this from, but no, I'm not pregnant. Okay. Okay. So I've been keeping kind of a secret because when I set my mind to something, I just simply do it. Okay. When I was 19, I wanted to teach. Um, I didn't want to go to school to become a teacher. I wanted to teach dental assisting students at the at the time, so I just started my own business. I just thought, okay, I'm going to tutor online. Um, I know that nobody else is doing it, but I am going to. So when I set my mind to something, I just simply do it, okay? So I've had my mind on something for a while. So for those of you who know me and who are my students especially, you have probably heard me say before where I have to go to London, well actually St. Thomas, um, a lot because my uh, grandparents have been in a nursing home now for, oh my gosh, I think it's been about a year now. And I see them often in their nursing home. Well, dental care isn't ideal. Can I say that without being mean? Um, there are nurses that are supposed to brush their teeth. Um, actually, sorry, I think PSWs, the nurses aren't the ones to brush the teeth. It's the PSWs, I believe. Um, but it's just simply not being done. Every time I see them, um, I can tell that they just haven't had their teeth looked after. You know, that thick orange plaque that tells us it's been sitting there for a while yes they did probably just eat lunch eat dinner you know something right but you can tell when it's more than just food from their meal you know like you can tell um so dental care in these nurse homes just is not happening and it's amazing because i've been asking questions for the past two or three weeks now, I've been posting in um, dental hygiene groups on Facebook saying, does anybody here own their own mobile practice? Because I, I would like to hire somebody to go to my um, grandparents' nursing home and to clean their teeth and to teach the staff how to properly do it, you know, with a toothbrush. Nobody, like crickets, I got nothing. So, and I've been looking, I have been calling. I've, I've asked the nursing home, does anybody come to clean their teeth? Like, I'm so confused. Am I the only one who's ever asked this? Like, I'm so confused, but there's nobody out there. So I thought about it, thought about it and thought, hey, wait a minute, that's something I could do. I don't know why I've never thought about this before. I think because I've, I've, I've always been doing so many other things, you know, tutoring, working. Um, I took restorative hygiene three years ago. That takes time. Um, you have to uh, um, obviously get experience for that too. So I have been busy. But now things are just starting to calm down, fall into place. So what do I do? I have decided to open up my own mobile practice. Yeah, you guys. Surprise, surprise, right? Now, I'm still looking into everything. So these are the earlier stages. I have no idea how much things cost. I mean, I have kind of an idea because um, I've been in dental offices before, but specific to a mobile practice, I have no clue. So I'm, I am taking courses. I am looking into everything. I have a lot of meetings this coming week with all kinds of um, reps to hopefully give me some more information because if you simply look online for like mobile hygiene practices all I see are these like large SUV like van type practices I do not want to clean teeth in a van I'm not saying that's a bad thing but to me that doesn't speak I don't know it just I just don't want to do that I would love to have my own office somewhere 
but you guys, that's way too expensive. I'm not interested in paying like $500,000 to set up my own practice. I'm not. So a mobile unit, I want something that I can, you know, take in and out of my car. Yes, I know they're heavy. I am looking into the whole, you know, how much these things cost. Some are more expensive, but they're a lot lighter. Some are, you know, there's just so much out there, right? So that's what I'm thinking. So I, I want something to um, wheel in and out of, of, of my car to go to nursing homes to go to um, people's houses that may not be able to leave their house, you know, for what, whatever reason for their dental hygiene care. I just want to make things easier, you know. We've all seen those children that hate going to the dentist. Well, I can go to their home and hopefully make the experience a lot nicer for them. So at least they're having their teeth cleaned. So these are just kind of all the thoughts that I, I'm, you know, having. I pretty much want to see anybody in, in their homes and, of course, nursing homes. So that's my thoughts. What does everybody think? Does anybody know somebody who does own their own mobile practice? Because I have asked and I can't find anybody. Or the people that I do find just aren't in my area to really help me with, you know, costs experiences you know like i want to find somebody to talk to um talk to in my area you know so i live in kitchener ontario canada and i swear there's just nobody around here um the people who do own their own practices here have their own like storefront type of practice but that's not what i want so i'm doing things a little bit differently but yeah, you guys, so I thought that I would let everybody know this will not happen overnight. There's a lot of work, a lot of research involved, and I'm the type of person where if I do something, I will be doing it right. So this will not take like a month. I'm thinking early 2019, maybe a little bit later, but I'm just starting to investigate things and save up all the money that I possibly have to be able to do this. So let me know what you guys think. And I just thought that I would share it with you guys first. I literally haven't told anybody. I haven't even told people that I work with yet. So if you guys are watching this and you work with me, I am starting my own practice 2019. But having that said, I don't expect to be like a busy right away. So I'm still going to work in those two offices where I am now. Um, maybe in a year, I might not be, and I might be only um, working for my own business, but it doesn't happen overnight, you guys. I don't expect to be crazy, crazy busy. That would be nice, but I'm realistic, okay? So tell me what you guys think, okay? And thank you so much for watching. I look forward to seeing everybody's comments.